we are going to start with the slideshow now. I'm assuming that you can all see this. Uh, if you can't see my PowerPoint, I would encourage someone to let me know. Or if you can see it, just give me a thumbs up so that we can uh, we can know that you're seeing all the same things that I'm seeing. This is kind of your key resources. And so this is something that I just want you to know about. As you get started, it's kind of a supplement to what's going on in your onboarding process. Again, if you're newer, keep in mind that this course, this new agent launch is really geared for people in their first maybe 90 or 100 days of being a real estate agent. So it, it really has some very practical things, some of which are gonna be handled in your onboarding process, but a lot of these things I just wanna point your attention to to make sure you know where to find what. So a first introduction. For starters, we're gonna to cover today who are the players and, and whose roles are what in your market center. Uh, we're gonna talk about whose roles are what in Bergen County Partners, which is the, uh, the franchise group that we belong to. We're gonna talk about affiliated partners, our mortgage partners and things like that. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna spend a fair chunk of time today showing you where to find information so that you can learn. Uh, you know, <clears throat> part of what we do as a training company and Keller Williams is first and foremost, you know, a technology training and coaching company is, is we do have a lot of online training. In, in a different time, we would be doing this in a classroom environment. Obviously that's not happening now. There's lots and lots of training available, however, there's a lot more resources out there that you can go ahead and self-teach certain things that you need to learn how to do or want to get more information on. I'm going to show you where to find those things. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the key documents. Uh, and, and as we go, we're going to go through and do sessions on how to complete all the paperwork so you know how to do that. We'll talk a little bit about scripts, where to find them. We'll talk about outside resources. And then we'll talk about the technology here. Uh, command being the primary technology tool, your database. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the supports through National Association of Realtors, the Realtors Property Resource uh, Services like Remind. We'll talk about the services at your board level. And then even outside resources, where to find more information through podcasts, Facebook groups. Building Agent Careers is actually a, uh, a training website and a podcast that I maintain. You're free to, to go check out buildingagentcareers.com and, and see what's there. And, and we're gonna spend a minute about talking about our company's value statements. So let me start with that. One of the things that I think is, is really important to help define um, kind of who you are as an organization is for, is for people to come together and put together a statement of their values. And, and we did this as an organization um, probably about four or five years ago. I want to start by just sort of letting you understand that the way this works, Keller Williams is a franchise company, meaning that each Keller Williams office is a separate company. It's independently owned, and in the eyes of the real estate company, it's as different from each other as, you know, Coldwell Banker is from Remax. We all wear the same franchise banner, but in much the same way that McDonald's is a franchise company or Starbucks is a franchise company, um, they, they, they're all separate ownership, right? And so we put together this group of five different offices of Keller Williams uh, in Bergen County. Uh, and, and actually it all began, and I'll talk to you a little bit about the ownership structure in a second, but it all began with Al Donahue, who is the principal owner of everything. And, and we came together as these five offices and we tried to define what would be the value statements that would define who we are, what we believe in, and kind of become our guiding principles as we move forward together as a company. And, um, and so what we have here is um, this quick uh, value statement. I'm just going to read through it real quick. What is the core purpose of why we exist? Ironically, the reason why we exist as a company is not to sell a lot of houses. Now, that is something that we do. We sell a lot of houses. But the reason why we exist is we want to be a real estate company that changes people's lives. We want to be a company that provides a pathway so that agents can learn how to build a business that can be self-sustaining, that can fund your life and create generational wealth for yourself and for your families and anything that you want that business to be, as well as serving clients. But the goal here is to be the real estate company that changes people's lives. And the value statement that we have is there's kind of three or four different things that we believe in. And these values don't change over time. You know, when tough decisions need to be made, we make them based on whether or not the decisions are consistent with our company's core values or not. And the very first one is that we're learning based, all of us. And certainly your leadership team is going to constantly attend training, read books, 
constantly seek to upgrade their skills, become better so that we can serve our agents better with more cutting edge information. We're gonna encourage agents to do the same. We always say that being learning based is the foundation of your action plan. And, and what that means is, is, to, is that we constantly are asking you to seek out what you need to learn so that you can do the next thing that you need to learn how to do, right? There's a lot of learning that you can get in this industry. And some of it, you know, is interesting to know, but it doesn't necessarily help you take the next step in growing your business. So be learning based. Servant leadership is the core of who we are. We, we lead by serving. And one of the things that we recognize as, as leaders in this organization is that we're, we're leaders and business consultants. We're not managers. We're not staff members. We, we'll never forget that without you guys, the agents, we wouldn't have a career. Every person in this organization deserves respect, civility, trust, and, and that's something that we want to recognize all the time, that as an independent contractor, you can work for whoever you choose. And if we are not doing what we need to do to make this relationship work for you, then shame on us, right? We do recognize that our job is to serve your needs. Fun. Even more than being wealthy, we want our agents to be happy. You know, being wealthy kind of helps you get a head start on happy. Just want to share that with you, you know. But uh, we want you to be happy. We want you to... Uh, um, accomplish, you know, we want our market centers to be fun, enjoyable places to work with a light social atmosphere. We host lots of frequent, fun, interesting events. It's been a little challenging to do that in, in a COVID lockdown environment, but we want this to be a place that you feel like you're part of family here. And then finally, teamwork. Great teams don't hold back from one another. They're unafraid to air their dirty laundry. They admit their mistakes. They admit their weaknesses and, and their concerns without fear of reprisal, right? So, um, that's kind of the way that we, we look at this. We, we look at this as being hungry, humble, and smart. Pat Lencioni is a great business consultant, and uh, he's done a lot of work with our organization. And I, I'd start with the core values because I think it's important for you to know what is the guiding vision of the company that you've aligned yourself with. Does anybody have any thoughts, questions, feedbacks around this before we move on to some of the nitty gritty of today's topic? Any thoughts about the value proposition at all? You're all muted, so if you do have one, you'd have to either unmute or put it in chat. If not, we'll keep moving. For starters, I want to talk about the leadership team here so you know who's who. In the very beginning of Bergen County Partners, I mentioned to you that Al Donahue uh, was our operating partner, and he launched the very first Keller Williams office in Bergen County. That was the Ridgewood office, and then he went on to open up the office in Woodcook Lake and the one in Tenafly and the one in Fort Lee, and the one in Rutherford. And um, recently, he, as, the, as this has grown and he's gone to, to develop other enterprises like our, uh, a, a title company, like our insurance company, which we'll talk about a little bit today, um, he actually has now uh, sold off and Colleen Kossoff is the owning partner, the operating partner of the Fort Lee office. Reshem Sethi, some of you know, as the team leader in Ridgewood, she is also the operating partner and the owner of the uh, Tenafly office. And Al still maintains ownership of Ridgewood, Woodcliffe Lake, and Rutherford. And so that's your, your ownership group, right? And so then in the Bergen County Partners team, which is this, this, uh, this franchise group, Joanne Morgan Roth is our general manager. Uh, she oversees the operations day to day. Elizabeth Walker, also the director of operations um, uh, across the whole group. Jess Krupa, director of financial operations. All of your uh, MCA, your market center administrators, uh, have a, re a reporting relationship to Jess. I'm the director of training and education for the franchise group. And Lynn Critchie is, is the executive assistant to Alan Joe. And I want you to just know these names because these are people that are always working real hard behind the scenes to make sure that you have a great experience here at Keller Williams. Now at your market center level, at your office, and, and keep in mind, we call in this company offices, we call them market centers, right? That's our language here. And so the resources that you have in your own office, every single one of your offices has a broker of record. All right. Um, who, who knows who the broker of record is in your own office? You can just throw it in chat if you know the name of your broker of record, because each office has a different one which is what makes us uniquely different from other companies like Weikert, Coldwell Banker, some of the others, where, where in that model, it's almost like a bank model where you have one big brand, brand name of a bank 
and it breaks down into lots of different branch offices. But each one of ours is a separate company. And uh, in, in, in Ridgewood, uh, um, uh, Sally Ponchak is your broker of record. In um, Woodcliffe Lake, Randy Douglas is your broker of record. In Tenafly, your broker of record would be Jack Kumbas. In Fort Lee, your broker of record is um, Edward Kim. And who are my Rutherford people here? Anybody know who the broker of record is in Rutherford? I want to just, Robert, Robert O'Keefe, there you go, Rick, you got it. Rob, Robert O'Keefe is your broker of record right there. I heard a voice. Who was that? Sam Roth. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I can't really hear you too too well today. For some reason, my volume isn't really working well. Um, in any event, those are your brokers. Now, your team leaders, right? Your team leaders are are the person whose job it is to kind of be the CEO of your office. Their primary job is to oversee everything that happens, but their primary job is to grow the office and to bring in more talent and to to make sure that the office is succeeding. Uh, in, in, in providing its mission of service to both agents and to the customers. So your team leaders in Ridgewood, that would be Rasham, right? And she's also the owner of the Tenafly office. In Woodcliffe Lake, your team leader is Colleen. She is also the owner of the Fort Lee office. In um, Tenafly, uh, Eileen Meehan is your team leader. Uh, Alyssa Compton is the team leader in, um, in Fort Lee, right? And um, Pam, Pam is a team leader in, in Rutherford. So that's their role, right? That's their job. Each office has a market center administrator, the person who handles the finances, but it's not just counting the books and being the bookkeeper that is the job of the market center administrator. The market center administrator's job is to kind of handle the day-to-day -day operations so that the team leader can focus on growing the office. Right. And the team leader also does consulting and coaching for the top 20 percent agents in the office. And our offices tend to be fairly large, several hundred agents in each one. So it's your MCA who, in addition to making sure that you get paid, is the person whose role it is to handle the day to day operations of the office to make sure that things are going smoothly and efficiently. The director of first impressions is the title that we give to the person who answers the phones and sits at the desk. They are the first point of contact that you have when you call in, that your customers have when they call in. And so we've aptly called that the director of first impressions because it's the first impression they're gonna get of us as an organization. The agent services coordinator is the person I'm gonna spend some time with because that is your go-to person. As an agent, anytime that you need something, your agent services coordinator is kind of the quarterback. <clears throat> They're the one who will either be able to handle it themselves or point you to the right person to solve whatever issue you have. We've got technology coordinators in the market centers as well to train and to troubleshoot uh, on the, tr the tech issues that we have in this company. Uh, there's a lot of training that's going on because command is an ever evolving tool that we're giving you to grow your business with. And so um, Elise Delani, Chris Gareffa, you know, we've got a lot of folks who are doing the technology coordinating. But I did say that I would spend a little bit of time again, speaking about the agent services coordinator. So let me talk about these people. Again, they are your go-to whenever you need something. They're the people that you go to first. Um, in Ridgewood, that would be Natalie, right? And you guys probably know a lot of these folks because they should have been intimately involved in your onboarding process for those of you that have been processed in by now. Woodcliffe Lake, Stephanie is your agent services person. In Tenafly, that's now Cindy Smith. Um, I believe that we're, we're looking for a, another full-time person because Cindy's wearing a couple of different hats right now. But if you know somebody who would be a great agent services person, let's get those names to the team leaders. Uh, Fort Lee, it's Kat Morano. And in Rutherford, it's Kevin. Again, Kevin wears two hats as well. He's also the director of first impressions. But they're the person that you go to first whenever you have a need, whenever you have a concern. Um, any questions about who these guys are? If you haven't met your agent services coordinator by now, uh, then I'd encourage you to kind of go out and reach out to them, send them an email, introduce yourself, make sure they know who's who. Now, we also have affiliated partnerships. And these are relationships that we have with other companies to help you do what you do, right? So in the real estate business, certainly we know that mortgage financing is a big part of what goes on. 
we have a relationship with three top-notch lenders. And, and, and by choice, we kind of stayed away from the big banks, the big brand names, not, not necessarily because we have any terrible bias against the big brands. But what we find is that the companies that we've chosen to go into a business relationship with, um, they're local. They tend to do their underwriting right here locally. Their reps are right here on the ground. Their, their underwriting is available you know, right here. So if we have any questions, we can get to real people and solve problems quickly. The three companies that we have a relationship with is Atlantic Home Loans, Bond Street Mortgages, and I believe that New Jersey Lenders does have a relationship still with our Rutherford office. And what I'd encourage you to do is get to know the mortgage reps that are associated with these companies in your office. Every one of your offices has reps that, that, that visit, you know, again, physically, we're not in the office as much, but we've got Atlanta Home Loans reps, we've got Bond Street reps, and I want you to kind of get to know these folks and kind of bring them in as part of your team. You know, the thing that's important about the affiliated business relationships that we have is that these companies actually pay uh, for the opportunity to get in front of you. On a sing every single month, they, they pay money to Bergen County Partners, and that money actually goes to really providing a lot of the services that we give to you guys. And, and, and the trade-off for that is, is that, you know, because of the fact that they're, they're paying for the right to get in front of you, I, I think it's, it's a win-win mentality to try to, you know, introduce them uh, to your buyers when, when you have an opportunity, right? So get to know uh, who these folks are. None of these uh, folks, if you already have an existing relationship that you're comfortable with with a lender, none of these folks would necessarily ask you to refer all of your business. But what we do encourage in a win-win kind of a world is uh, because they do so much to help us that we try to you know, give opportunities when we can. So those are our mortgage affiliate partners. And I will tell you that I've had a relationship uh, going back many, many years with Atlantic Home Loans. I used to be the team leader for the Keller Williams office in Montclair. I actually opened up that office uh, probably eight years ago or so. And Atlantic Home Loans was the very first lending partner that we brought in. Um, and that, that, or, that relationship has grown throughout Keller Williams. They've really done a great job, as has Bond Street. They've really taken off and done a great job. And New Jersey Lenders has just been a stalwart in, in New Jersey mortgage for years and years. So you've got some of the very best people here to help you out with your, with your mortgage needs. Now, title, Carnegie Title and Insurance, Carnegie Home and Auto. These are actually companies that, that Bergen County Partners has created on our own. Uh, we have gone out and we have started our own title company and uh, we have started our own insurance company. And so you'll get to meet the reps from Carnegie title. Um, uh, and you'll, you'll get to meet, uh, you know, Tim Fox with Carnegie home and auto. And what we encourage you to do again is when you have opportunities, we, we, we encourage you to, to, you know, use attorneys because the title work is usually ordered by the attorney. We encourage you to refer business to attorneys that A, are real estate attorneys so that they know what they're doing and they do a good job and they, they, they know the real estate industry well. But, be, but when we use attorneys from our preferred attorney list, we also have attorneys there that we know are going to use Carnegie title. You know, um, title insurance is regulated in New Jersey. And so you, it, every title policy is, the fee is set and it's regulated. There's nothing that you can do to shop title and get a cheaper title policy anywhere. The difference that you get when you shop title companies is the service that's provided. And what we work to do is to provide uh, the very best service to the paralegals and the attorneys that work with us, which is why T Carnegie Title has grown so rapidly. So um, what we encourage you to do is when you have um, buyers who are purchasing a home, what we encourage you to do is to give them several attorneys to, to choose from, uh, all attorneys from our preferred attorney list, which you can get in your office. And when they select one, then we encourage you to just place a quick phone call to that attorney and, and let them know that you're working with that, that's a buyer that you're working with and that you would like them to use Carnegie Title when they pull title work, right? Carnegie Insurance, a great, great company. It is, you know, we, we have relationships with lots and lots of premier insurance providers, not only for homeowners insurance, but for auto insurance. Uh, if you have not reached out to Tim Fox yet yourself and to see whether or not Carnegie uh, Home and Auto can save you personally any money on your own insurance or perhaps bundle your car insurance and your auto insurance together and save some money. You know, one of the things that happens 
is, is we, we buy insurance and then we don't really think about it much anymore. And over time, those premiums go up and up and up, and they sometimes are not as competitive as they need to be. Tim has saved agents in our company thousands upon thousands of dollars simply by, you know, working with them to, to kind of get their auto insurance and their homeowner's insurance, perhaps different carriers, uh, perhaps kind of different policies. But, uh, but we do encourage you to, uh, to refer your clients to Carnegie Home and Auto as well for their insurance needs as well as your family and friends. I think they do a really great job. So those are affiliate partners, right? And um, any questions about this, how this looks? You will get to know these folks. Again, right now, they're probably showing up more on Zoom calls and things like that that you're in. Um, they're not really in the offices right now because agents are not in the offices the same way. But do get to know who these partners are and build a relationship with them. Uh, where's the list of attorneys? Miriam is asking the question. That list of attorneys, um, it exists uh, at your office level. I'd encourage you to go right back to your agent services coordinator and ask them to forward a copy of that to you. It should be the same list across the whole franchise group, but your, your office maintains that. Okay. Um, can you share the slides to everyone is a question that I see in, in here. Well, what, I'm, what I can do is rather than um, share the PowerPoint, what I'm going to do is this is being recorded and I'm going to just share this whole recording so you have that. And that I'll show you in a, in a minute where that's going to be. Now, the learning partners. A couple things I want to do is I want to take you to the Keller Williams um, webpage, your, what we call the internet page. So give me a second while I call that up on my screen. And uh, I want to just kind of show you some key things that you're going to find here. All right, share my screen. Let's see. Can you guys see this screen right here? This is my, uh, what we call the internet page. Give me a thumbs up if you can see this. I want to make sure that you're seeing everything. All right, I got a thumbs up there. Fantastic. So when you log in and, and when you get set up, when you get processed into your market centers, you are going to have access to this internet page. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff here, right? I'm going to just show you a couple key things. For starters, when you go right up here to where it says education and you click on this button right here, it's going to take you to a place that we call Keller Williams University, hopefully. Seems like it's moving a little slowly today. Okay, here's Keller Williams University. Now, there's a lot of things here that I want you to know about and I want you to explore. Right here in this very first box where it says courses, when you click on it, it will take you to all of the different courses that we teach as, as part of Keller Williams, all the training courses that we have. And, and they're, they're kind of laid out alphabetically. And so some of the courses are taught at the market center level. I do virtually all of that training at the market center level. Um, there is no fee for any of the training that I do. Uh, so that's something that sometimes people ask a question. Now, sometimes there's courses that are taught at the regional level. And, and for example, career visioning, which is a course that's designed as people are building teams to start to think about how do you recruit talent into your team? That's a course that we teach sort of at a regional level, not in the market centers. But if you go through and you see all these different courses here, you're going to see them alphabetically. Here's where you're going to find script catalogs, right? This is a script catalog for working with buyers. This is a script catalog for working with sellers. This is a script catalog for just basic lead generation scripts. And we're going to talk about scripts a little bit more uh, in a couple of sessions. We're going to do an entire session on the importance of really thinking about the language that we use when we're working uh, with buyers and sellers. But what will happen is as you scroll through, let's just pick a course here. Let's pick Win With Sellers because that's a course that's actually gonna launch tomorrow. Win With Sellers runs Tuesday and Thursday uh, in August for six sessions from one o'clock until two o'clock. And your market centers, if they have not sent you the, uh, the Zoom link for that, I sent the Zoom link out over the weekend for that for everyone who's on the email list. If you did not get that, watch for that from your market centers this week or shoot me an email and I'll just send you the link to it. But we're going to do one with sellers on Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. Now, when you click on each one of these boxes, just so you know how this is laid out, it takes you to what we call the landing page. And it's a brief description of the course itself. 
Who's the target audience? What do we cover? You know, you can purchase the course materials here if you like, and they will sort of bind those and put them in a three ring binder and ship them to you. Or if you go to the second tab right here where it says materials, you simply click on the materials tab and then you can download this stuff for yourself. And so what you're going to see here is actually the Woodwood Cellars front cover and back cover and spine. Those truly are nothing more than one page covers. Uh, so that if you were to put it in a binder, you could put a cover on it and with the title of the, comp of the course, you don't necessarily need that. What you're looking for here is the manual, right? This is the manual and it's a giant PDF. When you click on the manual, it will open up and you'll see that this course has 171 pages in its manual. You can simply download this for free. And uh, as you're going through the course, I do encourage people to have the manual with them as we're going through the course, because I think that uh, it's good to kind of follow along in that way. But every one of the courses that we have in the Keller Williams University has this content that you can download free of charge, right? It's totally free. And I encourage you to explore what's there. What we say is that being learning based is kind of the, 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 the focus of your action plan. And so the thing that you always want to be thinking through is what's the next thing I need to learn how to do? How could I find a course in here that addresses that, right? Again, we will constantly be teaching from the curriculum uh, in the Zoom classes. However, sometimes you're going to want information that maybe that class maybe just finished or isn't coming around again for a while. So you can go back and self-teach. Now, a couple other places I want you to see. This is KW University On Demand. This is a really important resource for you to know about because what you can do in here is you can just kind of go in and start to search in this search box for anything that would be useful for you to know about. And what you're going to find here is that lots and lots of different agents and coaches all throughout the company are creating content and uploading it on this channel platform for you to kind of have and for you to use. So for example, if I wanted to see an example of a listing presentation, I would just type listing presentation and hopefully I can spell that properly into the chat, into the, the search box and I hit enter. And what you're going to see is, okay, there's a couple of courses that address the listing presentation, the Winwood Sellers course and the MREA listing specialist course. There are lots of different um, pieces of content that are here that are related to a listing presentation. And so you may decide, I just want a document. I want to see a sample. So you go up across the top here and maybe filter this. I don't want to see videos. I don't want to listen to audio posts. I want to just see documents here. So you hit that little filter and what you're going to find is here's samples of listing presentations that other folks have created that you can have, right? This is a June Southland Partners listing presentation. I don't even know who Southland Partners is right now, but if I was to click on it, it's going to take me to a download. And once I download this, here is a sample of their listing presentation that they're sharing for you to use either as a template or as information to help guide how you create your own. So um, I think that this right here, which is, let me go back to show you where you find this, this Keller Williams University On Demand is a really good resource for you to kind of self-teach and learn different things. There's a section here called guides and checklists. And when you click on it, it will take you to lots of different things that may be of use to you in your business, right? Some of these are, you know, guides for things like book clubs and things like that. But you're also going to find in the document section guides for things like contract to close checklist, what needs to happen from the time a deal goes under contract till the time it gets to the closing table. And there are templates to make sure that you, uh, you don't skip any steps. So there's lots of different guides and resources for you there. I'd encourage you to go poke around and see what's there and see what's of use to you. Um, there's lots of other things here that we're not really going to have time to talk about today. Agent curriculum path and things like that, that sort of talk a little bit about the pathway to, to, to learning from a big sort of beginner to sort of medium experience to experience. Come back in and look at all these different things. But I want to show you a couple more things on this website. If you go here, we're back to the very beginning when you logged in. Here, let's go to marketing. And when you go to the marketing tab, you are going to find 
a couple of different things. For starters, logos and branding. If you want to put your logo or, or you want to send your, your, your company's logo to a printer to make business cards, or if you want to put it on your website, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this logos and branding section. And what you do here is you just simply scroll down and until you get to the market center box and you're going to search for your own market center. Now, I said every single office or every single market center is a separate company in the eyes of the Real Estate Commission. It's a separate company in the eyes of Keller Williams International as well. And each market center has a number and a name. Does anybody know the number? And I don't mean phone number. I mean the market center number of the office that you're affiliated with. Does anybody know what that number is? 964 for my office. What's that, Javier? 964. 964. So if that's it, you go to 964 and you find that that's Keller Williams Town Life. And so if I wanted the logo, the separate logo for Town Life, I'm going to hit this little preview button. It's going to open it up. And there's the Town Life logo. And you can download that and you can put that into your marketing materials as well. So the first thing I wanted to show you is where to find that logo and branding stuff for so you can brand your your stationery so that you can brand your business cards, your website, whatever you choose to brand. Now, another thing that's really useful here is the listing presentation template. We're gonna go through in this course, um, you'll see throughout Keller Williams, there's lots of different versions of the listing presentation that are out there. But if you're looking for a good starting point, you simply go to listing presentation template, you click on it, it's gonna open this up, and what you're gonna do now is you're going to download it. Here's the download. And once it's finished downloading as a PowerPoint, I'm gonna open it up. And my hope is that I'm gonna share the screen a second time. Now you can see this listing um, presentation and it's just page by page by page. Can you see this guys? I just wanna make sure you're seeing my same thing on my screen. And you can kind of come in there and customize this with your name and your picture. And you can go through and you can talk about the client's needs come first. And it's just a good tool to start with that you can use to customize. And it exists right in the marketing section of that website. So let me go back to, uh, I'm going to stop that share. And I'm going to try to get back into where I was before. Okay, we're back on the Keller Williams website here, right? So lots and lots of good stuff here. What I'm gonna encourage you to do is recognize that you can't break this thing, so go play with it. So, you know, to learn what's on here and how this works, you're, you're probably gonna to need to spend some time, right? Now, another place that I'm gonna point you to is right here on the homepage. When you go to the homepage, do you see where it says Welcome to Associates right here? Right here under home, welcome to associates. I want you to click on it and you're going to find lots and lots of resources that talk about how you kind of get started here, right? I clicked on the calendar by mistake, didn't mean to do that. We're just going to go through and you're going to see what's the first steps in terms of getting plugged in. How do you set up your profile on KW's website so that you, your people throughout the company know who you are, they know what office you're in, they know if you have any special skills or any special languages that you speak or any special concentrations in your business. All of this exists right here in this set up your profile. Um, they'll talk a little bit about the Keller Cloud and the agent websites and how they work, right? They'll talk about coaching opportunities that are available and you can connect to the live training schedule at Keller Williams University and sort of see what the Keller Williams International training faculty are putting out on a daily basis. They'll talk about Pivot, which is the program that we put together when COVID came. And, and we had to kind of shift the way that we did things and all the resources that are part of, of Pivot. So again, I want you just to spend some time in the Welcome New Associates area, which is right here in the homepage. Welcome New Associates, click on it and just take a look and see what's there for yourself. All right. Um, some other things that you'll see here in technology, this is constantly changing. Keller Williams technology is always changing, but you, this is where you're gonna find a link to command, right? Which is the uh, database that we're using. 
So this home page has lots of good stuff in it. What I wanted you to point to today was the welcome to associates section. And then in the education section, I wanted you to know where the courses were and <clears throat> where the KW on command were and guides and checklists. Any questions about any of this? I am moving quickly because there's a lot to cover here, but I just want to make sure that if you have any questions that we, we stop for a minute and answer any questions that you might have about that. Uh, all of this information is on what website? Keller Williams Marketing, right? <clears throat> so what you're going to do is let me go to Google and I'll show you how to get right into it. Um, see, well, actually, let me share my screen again so you're seeing what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, see the web address right here, which is mykw.kw.com? Yeah. When you go to mykw.kw.com and hit enter, it will take you to um, a login page. And, okay. and your login credentials should be provided to you by your market center. If you don't remember what those are, reach out to your agency service person. Typically, the login is your first initial and your last name. And generally speaking, there's a preset password that you get in the very beginning that you can change on your own. But that's where you're going to find this. This is not the login for command. That's a separate login. You can get to that here through the technology resource page. But this is mykw.kw.com is going to get you to this page here. Okay. Okay? Yes. Thank Terrific. you. Terrific. All right. Let me stop that screen and let me jump back into the PowerPoint and pick up where we had left off. I want to close this one out. Do you see um, my PowerPoint screen again with the red screen that says your learning partners? Can you just yes. give me a, okay. So we just took a look at that website. We took a look at courses. We took a look at KWU on demand. We took a look at guides and checklists. We took a look at marketing. We showed you where some of that technology menu is, right? Now there's some other places um, where you're going to, uh, get some resources. One of them is where are you going to find the key documents that you need? And, and we are kind of transitioning out of a software program called dot loop. And we're moving into a software program uh, called DocuSign. And all of the documents that you will need exist in those programs. And so by now you should have gotten a login and password to get into these accounts. And what you'll find in there, that's where you're going to find the templates for the listing agreements. That's where you're going to find the exclusive buyer's agency agreements and the informed consents to dual agency and the sales contracts. And we will take time in future sessions of launch to kind of go through, how do you fill those out? I'm going to tap the, uh, the, the skills of Sally Ponchak, who's the broker in the Ridgewood office, who's going to kind of walk us through completing those documents. But uh, that's where you're going to find those. They will exist in the in the dot loop. And in fact, in dot loop, we, we put them all together as what we call form sets. And so there's almost like a file folder. Think of these programs as big filing cabinets in the, in the sky. And, 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 and so inside the filing cabinet is going to be a folder and inside the folder is a blank copy of everything that you could need. That's what those form sets are. And they exist in the dot loops. And again, we will be moving into a DocuSign environment where it will be structured in a very similar way. What I encourage you to do is go get copies of those blank forms and take a look at them and see what it's asking you to fill in. You know, take a look at the listing and we'll, we'll go through the listing paperwork and the, and the sales contract in, in, a, in a week or so, but take a look at it and see what it's asking you to fill in and just take a shot at trying to complete it and make sure that you know how to do that so that when you have an opportunity, you're, you're ready. Now scripts, I showed you where to find those scripts in the Keller Williams University. In the Ignite course, which is also back on that KW University page, that has its own script books. And, and we'll talk about scripts, I think, in two more sessions about how really important it is to know what you're going to say when you get together with clients. I, I don't want you to be scripted from the standpoint that you feel inauthentic or that you feel that the conversation is awkward and forced. But I do want you to know how do you communicate certain ideas with buyers and sellers? How do you handle uh, pushback and objections when they come? And we have lots and lots of script books for you to help you with that. And I showed you where those could be found back on KW University. We'll do a deeper dive on that in a couple more sessions. Um, okay, what questions do you have for me? Those are the quick things that I wanted to get through today. What questions do you have for me 
that you didn't get answered here in terms of where to find resources. I have a couple more that I want to show you, but I want to just kind of make sure we have questions, uh, Q&A opportunity here for any specific questions that you guys have. Uh, Mr. Hell, I just have a question. Um, so I'm on this, uh, MikeKellerWilliams.com. As you were speaking, I was trying to see where this university center, is it by the market center internet? Where, where now do I- say that again. I'm really having a hard time with the volume on my computer today. So I'm going to listen real carefully. Say that again. Okay. So I'm right now on the MikeKellerWilliams.com, right? I'm trying to find out the university, you know, like the information to go on the, on the videos. Okay, so, so let me share my screen again so you can see. Do you see my screen? No, I don't. I don't. I, this is the screen that I have. I don't know if you can okay. see it. And okay. what specifically are you looking to try to hear now? I, I want to go into the, onto the education part. I'm yep, which not is right able here. to go. It says Ed on the go. I'm on mycolorwilliams.com. I mean, well, mycolorwilliams, Keller, dot, kellerwilliams.com. Um... Yeah, KellerWilliams.com is not where you want to be. That's the public facing site. That's the site where buyers and sellers go to see inventory. That's not where I want you to go. Okay. I want you to go to mykw.kw.com. That's where I am. Yes. Okay. Let's see. It's gonna show. Okay. I see it now. So education, correct? Yep. Okay. One other thing about resources too, just so now as I wanted to throw this out, one of the things that I do is three times a week, you'll see on your calendar something that's called office hours. And what yes. that is, is just, it's kind of like when you were in school, if you have a particular question, whether mm -hmm. it's about how to find something or, or how to do something or a strategy question about your business, or maybe you're having a challenge mm -hmm. with a client. Those um, hours are Mondays and Fridays at 10 and Wednesdays at no, excuse me. Those office hours are Mondays and Fridays at one, and I think Wednesdays at ten. And so, anytime you want to just jump into that Zoom room and ask questions like that, that's, okay. that's what those are there for as well. Thank you. Okay. Now, a couple other things I do want to show you, though, in the way of resources. And again, if there's any questions that you have, even though I'm having a hard time hearing today, um, I'm going to ask you to take a shot anyway, or at least throw it into chat, and I'll do my best to answer that for you. There's a couple of really cool resources that I want you to know about on YouTube, all right? And also on Facebook. So let's start with YouTube. So I'm calling YouTube up here. I'm gonna share my screen so you can see my YouTube channel. Do you see YouTube here? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here into the search box and we're gonna type in Bergen County Partners. Bergen County Partners and it comes up in blue for me because I've already kind of typed it in and saved the page. But when you go to the Keller Williams Bergen County Partners YouTube channel, which is right here, right? And you click on it. Do you see this here, this YouTube channel? Somebody give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're still with me here. Okay. Thank you, Javier. So the Bergen County Partners YouTube channel is the big bucket that a lot of the training that we do, we just park it right here so you can come back to it again and again. And here you're gonna see all the different videos kind of listed, but it, there's a lot of them here and it's kind of overwhelming sometimes. So what we've done is we've created playlists and the playlists are just kind of, you know, they're, they're the lists of all the different classes and all the videos. So for example, right now we're teaching Ignite 2.0. If you wanted to go back and see one of the Ignite classes, you can click on this playlist. You can go back in and watch that class. New Agent Launch, we've created a playlist for what we're doing right now. As I record these at the end of the day, I will have this put back up into this playlist so you can go back and revisit something that we talked about, or if you had to miss or you had to jump out early, the class is gonna be right here in this playlist. This is a lead generation class that we do. These are just live streams. There's lots and lots of playlists that we're building out so that you can come back into this kind of library and, and, and just kind of take advantage of the learning that's here. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to probably do, here's tech topics. Chris Gareffa has put his tech topics in here. So if you clicked on it, there's all kinds of uh, classes on technology. This one here, I want you to pick special note to. This is called the KW Command 66 Day Challenge. And, and this is just kind of a link. When you link here, 
It's going to actually take you to a different YouTube channel. And I'm going to stop that from playing, hopefully. So this is a course that was created by a coach out of Houston and a, <clears throat> an agent who's running a big team there called named Marty Miller. And Marty uh, is really one of the tech experts with command. And what he's done is he's taken sort of a tutorial and he's got 66 different little videos that teach you the ins and outs of how to use command. Now, the version that we have here for you is version 3.0. And it constantly evolves because the technology is constantly evolving. And so you could go back and see version one or version two, but I want you to see version three. Even though he is now in the process of recording version four, I want you to kind of pay attention to this version three. This is really, the, you know, uh, recent. And it kind of goes you through kind of video by video, teaching you all the different steps. And the cool thing is these videos are only like 10 minutes long or 12 minutes long or five minutes long. It's not an hour long class that you're going to have to wade through if you just have a simple question that you want to learn, how do I do something in command? What I found was really beneficial was just to kind of carve out some time and, um, and just kind of scroll through these and maybe see two or three of them or four of them a day and just kind of get familiar with command and learn how to use it. So, so 66 different videos, it starts from the most basic stuff. It scrolls all the way through the most advanced stuff. <clears throat> take a look at this and this is a great place to get answers for the things related to uh, command right now a couple other resources that I'm going to point you to um, let's go to Facebook and I'm going to caution you about going to Facebook to learn anything because what we know is that social media can be kind of an open cesspool at times in terms of lots of information that's available but maybe not always the information that's the most accurate, but there's a couple of really good channels that I want you to know about. And so I've gone now to my Facebook account and hopefully you're seeing that on the screen. Let me know if you're not, but the ones I want you to go to here in the search box, number one, we have our own Bergen County partners, Facebook group. So make sure you become a part of that. It's KWBCP, I think is what we call it. No, maybe that's not it. Let's see. Bergen, KW Bergen County Partners. Here it is. And so when you go to this, this is our Facebook group. If you're not joined already, I'd like you to go ahead and join that because this is one of the ways that we communicate information to you. There's so many different channels that we try to push information out to so that you're up to date on everything that's going on. There's emails, there's voicemails, you know, and, and this is the Bergen County Partners channel. This is also a place where you'll see agents announce their new listings. This is a place that you can ask a question if you have one. And it's a really, really good site uh, or a group to belong to. And as a member of Bergen County Partners, I encourage you to go ahead and join that one. There's a couple of others that are really good. And one is going to be um, command your conversion. You'll see this when I search that in the box. You're going to click on that. Here is a group that has 32,000 members in it, and it is good. It says right now the focus of this group is to focus on everything Keller Williams, specifically technology and how to use. Now, this is a group that was started in part uh, by by a friend of mine named Nick Baldwin. Some of you may know Nick. He's also the co host, if you will, of the Lab Code Agents Facebook group, which is probably the biggest real estate agent Facebook group in the world. Um, I think they have like 110,000 members in it. But what Nick has done is he has created his page, He's just really focusing on command, all the different new upgrades with command, all the different twick, you know, tricks and how to use it and, and how to, you know, kind of do different things. This is a great group. And I'd encourage you to join it as well. Command Your Conversion is the name of this. Uh, and I actually see it here with Nick's name in it. Let's see. Yeah, that was just a search. Nick actually was a Keller Williams agent that used to work for me in Montclair uh, when I was the team leader there. He and his mom had a, a team. And, and Nick has gone on now to move to Michigan uh, with his family. And he was a team leader there for a while. I believe he's the regional technology coordinator for Keller Williams out there. But that's, those are the two big ones that I want you to kind of join, which is Command Your Conversion. Uh, it is also the Bergen County Partners. And there's one more, Pivot, Shift Ahead. You'll see that when I type in Pivot. You'll see Pivot, Shift Ahead. 
This is a group that was formed, 77,000 members strong at this point. This is a group that was formed when COVID happened and Keller Williams agents came together and said, how do I adjust? How do I pivot? How do I shift? So join these three groups as well. And I think you're gonna find there's really good and relevant information for you there, okay? We're getting close to running out of time today. Uh, it's 10.56, we're gonna kick off Ignite. Uh, we'll go back to Ignite at 11 o'clock, so we're gonna have a hard stop in just about another minute or so. There's one last place that I would encourage you to go, and uh, it's gonna be a shameless plug. Um, so let me just kind of take you to uh, buildingagentcareers.com, which is my website. Uh, buildingagentcareers.com. I'm going to call that up on the screen. And if you want to ever go there, this is my training website. It's been a while since I've put a lot of content on here, but I, I am in the process of curating some new content to put on here. I also have a podcast of the same name, which you can go to iTunes or wherever you get your podcast and subscribe to it. This is just going to be other places where you're going to find lots and lots of resources. So that said, that was our goal today is we were going to cover, you know, kind of where do you find stuff, right? Very first session is where do, what's the lay of the land here? How do I find stuff that I'm looking for? You know, the question that you may ask yourself is, you know, kind of where do we go from here? Because I said that this was 16 different sessions and, uh, and it is. And so um, where we're going to go next is, uh, let me just tell you what the topics are. I think I've got them here in front of me. Uh, the topics that we're going to cover going forward is getting the word out. That's the next one. How do you kind of let people know that you're in real estate and how do you spread the word? The systems and models that you need to learn about in terms of running a business is where we're going after that. We're going to talk about the importance of having a focus in, in terms of the activities of your business and setting time blocks in your calendar to execute. Session number five is on scripts. Session number six is completing the sales contract. Session seven is qualifying the buyer. Session eight, is preparing for the buyer's consultation. Session nine, conducting the buyer's consultation. Number 10 is how to show properties so that buyers make decisions faster. Number 11 is pricing strategies in the CMA. Number 12 is gonna be how to prepare for the listing consultation. Number 13 is how to conduct uh, the listing consultation. Number 14 is how to complete all the listing paperwork that's involved. Number 15 is how to build a strong database. And the session 16, the final session in this loop, is on basic agent financials that you need to have to need to understand to run your business effectively from a financial standpoint. And that's where we're going over the course of, you know, the next number of weeks. This, this loop takes about six weeks to get through. So, so that's where we're going to go. And I hope you can join us.